are here for your own reasons. It may be to support those living with HIV or AIDS, or to fund the work to prevent new infections. Maybe you're here to remember someone you've lost or honor someone who is battling HIV AIDS today. In each of you I see inspiration, compassion, guts, and most of all, love. Today, we set out on a journey to raise awareness and funds that will support thousands of Californians living with HIV or at risk for HIV. We are here over the next seven days to support each other, care for each other, and hear each other's stories. As you will experience over the next 545 miles, you will be called upon to find reserves you didn't know you had. You will laugh, and you will cry, and you will persevere. You've raised 16 million, 137 dollars. I did my first AIDS life cycle in 2003, and uh, this is number 11. I had lost, gosh, maybe 50 friends uh, in the late 80s and the early 90s to AIDS. And uh, then my brother, uh, Daryl, he passed away in 2005. And uh, before he passed away, I promised him that I would continue to ride until there was a cure. I think my first year, I really kind of signed up because of, of the physical challenge. I thought, oh, I'm, I can, I'm gonna try to ride 545 miles, I'm an athlete, I'm gonna do this. And once I got here, I realized it was so much more than a ride, and um, I completely fell in love with it. When I started doing the ride, it was fairly obviously healing. It gave me a place to focus on the grief. And I cried a lot on my first ride, and I cried a little bit less on my second ride. I signed up to be a member of Paws Peds before I actually registered for my first ride. Our main purpose is simply to present, particularly for those who sign up for the ride who don't necessarily know somebody with HIV, whether they see us wearing a jersey or having, carrying a flag, or they hear us talking about our status. I'm going to keep doing the ride and this ride until my legs fall off or until I die or until there's a cure. And if there's a cure, well, I'll find some other reason to keep doing it. accepting and welcoming. As like a first time rider, it's been really easy to already feel a part of it. I came from New York before this year, um, so actually this community has become like a family for me here. Change your blue lace saying hello. The love bubble's awesome. It's just, it's all inclusive. It doesn't matter your age, your sex, your orientation, your background. For a week, you just kind of let everything 
go away. You're just in the moment. You know you're about to climb a tough hill when there's a group of people at the bottom like playing instruments or dressed in costumes encouraging you. Go, go, go! I personally always think I'm not gonna make it. And then right before I start the hill, there's always a roadie there. There was someone yesterday right before a hill with a sign that said, you are heroes. And someone saying that you're doing incredible, beautiful things. And it, it, it gets you up the hill. I, I'm not a fan of hills. I am not about that hill life, as I say. I've actually never actually made it up a full hill. And this will be my first time, and I'm gonna give it all I got. Climb, crawl, drag my bike by my teeth, whatever it takes, but I will get to the top of the quad buster. I feel super lucky that I can do this kind of thing with my mother. Um, I'm, I'm extremely proud of her. We have so many different ways that we connect and you know, different levels that we can relate on and this is just one, one more. AIDS life cycle makes a difference because it raises awareness and you can see it as we're riding through communities and um, cars stopping next to us asking us what we're doing, why we're doing it. It's not every day that 3,000 people come to lunch because we do this every year, it encourages us to put more time and effort into discussing AIDS and understanding the disease, understanding what the ride does. And the kids go home and discuss the stuff with their parents and this town loves it. And we all look forward to it all year. Here we have a team of active military members, Team OutServe. So it's 10 strong, so we are here our first year, and I want to do it every single year and grow our team. It's my fifth year as a gear and tent roadie. I actually have a blast. I get to work side by side with my wife on the gear trucks. I get up at 3.30 in the morning, and then by 4.30 I'm lugging luggage back into the truck. We stack the truck, and then we drive off, and we drive down the road in alphabetical order. And the next camp, ramps go down, doors go up, luggage comes out, and it's a fast-paced 45 minutes to an hour unloading. And uh, very sweaty, very hot, but it's so worthwhile just so that the riders have a little bit more organization when they come in. We're moto safety, so we're out here to make sure the riders are, are safe on the road. We usually direct them through turns or over tracks. This is more motivation, just to be here, Say it's okay, the top's close. Let's keep them going. I got two knee surgeries. This ride doesn't exist without the roadies, right? Yeah. I mean, you look at everything we have around here, you know, from when you come in, right, people telling you where to go, you've got the bike racks, you've got the medical tent, you've got the Cannondale tent, you've got, you know, the porta potties, the food, everything. Um, that stuff doesn't just show up. Uh, you know, it, it shows up at ridiculous hours of the nights in the morning, and people show up with it to make it all happen. Um, and they're here long past when we are. And without them, I don't think this ride could be possible. Sometimes as riders, we're all in pain, we're all tired, we have very little sleep, and yet they're waking up before us and they're going to bed after us. And I think that that speaks volumes about the character and just the love and compassion that these people are willing to come out with us, give up an entire week um, to make sure I have the most enjoyable ride. They're waking up every single morning, picking up our trash, making sure that we're all secure to ride this ride for others. So without the roadies, we can't be here. So we love the roadies. They keep us safe. They make us aware of danger. They get us across streets. They warn us when there's train tracks. Uh, the roadies are awesome. And they're volunteers. Incredible.
I love to do things that change me to be a better person. And I think this is one of those experiences that it's gonna have a big impact in, in my life. One thing the ride has really shown me is that I can do it. And I think if I can climb Quadbuster and I can ride 108 miles in one day and I can you know, ride to Los Angeles on a bicycle, I don't know that there's anything that I can't do. The whole feeling that you get here is so real and it's so strong. And it really moves you to places that you don't even think you can go to. It's beyond being physically fit. It's beyond being in shape. Having a bike, knowing how to ride a bike, it's beyond that. Doing AIDS Life Cycle is about making a difference. And like my cyclist rep continues to tell me, being the change you want to see in the world. Even when you're on the highest high or the lowest low, you know you always have someone here to just really embrace you and really show you how good-hearted people can really be.